We all die, it's either kill or get killed. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It was nice to stay warm at home, right? Or shouldn't be dead. Hyun Cha thought to himself as a monster that could only be described as horrifying, with overly gaping cracked teeth that looked murderous, a half of a face, holes in his head, and a hunch walk that could send chills down anyone's spine, appeared before him. It's still not scarier than people who eat pineapples on pizza, but hey, we all have our own fears. A socially angst, ready to die high school student, whose life that couldn't be anything but forgiving, is changed dramatically. Hyun Cha is awoken from his sleep in anger and receives a call no one should ever hope to to get. He's informed his parents and sister have died in a car accident. Instead of grieving, the first thing he thinks about is what he's going to do next. He changes where he lives and plans out how long he can live for. I respect his mentality, but it's also notable that he's planning to end his life on a certain day. His will to live slightly reflects on how he feels at the time of his parents' death. In his new apartment, things could be seen as average and content. Hyun Cha slowly watches his neighbor leave, a beautiful model with a hopeful career. He gets one look at her and he's infatuated, but that's the last time he sees her as she looks then. The week following, things change dramatically. Everything seems normal, but when Hyun Cha orders ramen packets to be delivered outside his door, he notices the box are violently torn open with the packets leading to his neighbor room, with the door wide open. Hyun Cha investigates, seeing an eerie mess in her room, and then he's suddenly greeted by a hand, an overly wrinkled, long-limbed hand with hideous fingers and no nails. It sounds like whatever is in her apartment is chomping on something, and the hand throws an animal collar that has blood stains on it. Hyun Cha, paralyzed in fear, tries to back away, accidentally stepping on a ramen bag, triggering a creepy voice wanting something to eat. Hyun Cha freaks out, running and hides under his bed for a period of time. His female neighbor tries to fool him by banging on his door with an illusion of her normal face showing on the security camera in his room, but she transforms into a hideous monster in front of his very eyes. Hyun Cha, paralyzed in fear once again, eventually finds the confidence to grab a stick with a broken green stub on the end, threatening to find back, but she vanishes. As he's standing outside his neighbor's apartment with his weapon, another resident walks by named Kuk Payan. This is obviously not the best look, um... That's suspicious. That's weird. Hyun Cha tries to explain the traumatizing situation, but he ends up passing out after he asks Wook Payan if he's seen a monster. While he's passed out, it seems like Hyun Cha is having a nightmare, and then a monster appears. What's strange is the monster is asking about his desires. Brushing all that off, Hyun Cha wakes up deciding to play a game called World of Apocalypse, which is ironically what he's about to realize is about to happen to the world. As he tries to figure out why the game server isn't working, he sees that phrases and words used to describe a monster transformation is trending. He rushes to look outside to be greeted by a destroyed smoking city, realizing what he saw wasn't a dream, that was reality. Sweet Home is an eerie nightmare that follows the story of Hyun Chun and this apocalyptic world. Couldn't be me though, his character is a handful and it's really interesting. It's called Sweet Home and it's on Webtoon and you should go check it out.